Hey guys, Ivan here, and this photo right here, this photo of Michal Krizo is basically the reason why I haven't made my prediction video yet. Because if I made my prediction video yesterday, I would not have Michal Krizo in my top 10. Now, I have him in my top 5. I maybe even have him in my top 3. <laughs> I don't know, man, he looks so ridiculous in this photo that I wouldn't be too surprised if he was... Top 3 or even if he won the Mr. Olympia based on this photo, I know, I know, gym photos are one thing, under great lighting it's different on a bodybuilding stage, but I don't know, we are seeing so many updates of all the other bodybuilders and I don't know how many of them look this impressive in their gyms under whichever lighting. I mean, Mikhail Krizo right here looks insane, looks so freaky. I mean, look at that chest, how separated, how thin the skin is, uh, how gnarly, how, how grainy his chest is and how much muscle is there actually. And then take a look at the shoulders and then take a look at those freaking arms, a look at the small waist and the legs are not small at all. His legs are really big and really well shaped. He even has calves, he has forearms, his physique flows so well, he has crazy traps and small neck that he just looks so freaking impressive and it seems like he's going to be shredded. So he posted this video as well, caption on this video was paper skin, which may seem a little arrogant, but if he's so confident about his conditioning, which was never really his strength, that means that he's bringing something new, something special, something that we haven't seen so far and it looks like Mikhail Krizh is bringing the best conditioning of his life to the Mr. Olympia stage as well he should. It is the biggest stage of his life, I mean it's actually the biggest stage of anybody's life who is doing that Mr. Olympia and uh, in these photos, this is another photo that he posted, as you can see his skin does look very very thin, he looks really conditioned and we are 10 days out, so this is not finished. He still can lose some body fat, I mean there isn't really any body fat left basically, maybe just a tiny little bit and then he needs to dehydrate completely and what's that gonna look like, I have no idea but it's going to be scary, it's going to be something special and honestly guys, I mean let's say that these photos are flattering, let's say that they are not 100% real, let's say that the lighting is, is superficial, uh, whatever, I mean <laughs> let's say that this is... 70-80% of what it's gonna look like on stage, still, still, even if that is the case, how low can he place, I mean, yeah, sure, I can see Big Grammy beating him, I can see Brandon Curry beating him, but everybody else, I don't know, I'm not so sure, Nick Walker, Hadi Chupan, Hunter Labrada, and the others, William Bonek, whoever, I think this guy has all the tools to beat all of these guys, I believe so. Again, I know it's really hard to make a prediction based on gym photos, but we also have some witnesses, uh, Milo Sharchev saw this guy in Dragon's Lair gym earlier this year and they say that he was off gear at the time and Milo said that Mikhail Krizio is actually the real deal in real life, in person. And you guys gotta remember that this guy is actually tall, that he is 6 foot or 6 foot 1. So he is taller than most of the top guys at the Mr. Olympia. I mean, who is taller than him? Maybe Samson is about the same height, Rafael Brandau. That's it. That's, that's basically it. Everybody else is just much shorter. I mean, Nick Walker is pretty big, but, you know, when he stands next to Michal, he's going to be like a head shorter than him. So that's gonna be, if he looks big like this, at this height, then he's going to look that much more impressive compared to the other shorter guys. Now, as I mentioned, Nick Walker, here is an update of Nick as well. Honestly, guys, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Nick Walker. I would love to see him win the Mr. Olympia, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, compared to Michal Krizio, the previous photo that I just showed you, it's not even close. It's not nearly as impressive. I mean, come on, let's be honest, like, Nick's legs are not as good as Michal's, and his chest is not as full, nowhere near, and he has, uh, he, his waist size is basically double the size of Michal's waist size, so, I mean, yeah, I know Nick is very good in poses, uh, when he hits the pose, it looks very impressive, and he is going to be very conditioned, he has bigger glutes and hamstrings, uh, probably more developed back, 
but when I'm looking at this, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, how how can Michal Krizo be worse than Nick Walker on that stage? I mean, how much different can it be? Gym lighting and, and stage lighting. Could it be also the angle of the photo? Could it be better camera quality? Maybe it's Photoshop. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think any of that is the case. I think Michal Krizo is simply that good. I think he's that impressive. Here is a video of Nick Walker training. And one of Nick's trademarks is his conditioning. And in this video, you can see how lean he is. You can see it in his delts, in his arms. You can see how thin his skin is if this is paper skin or not and then look at Michal again I mean the quality of the video is pretty poor and there is nothing special about the lighting but look at the fullness look at the hardness look at the, the separation look at the thin skin I think Michal Krizo is in better conditioning than Nick Walker right now and this is not a knock at Nick Walker I'm a big fan of Nick Walker but I'm just being honest, I'm just analyzing what I'm seeing. And here is another photo of Nick Walker that he just posted. And honestly guys, I have to stand by my words. I mean, I wish I eat my words, but what I said before about Nick's arms, I still do believe it. I think his arms are making everything, on, everything else on his body look smaller in comparison. I think his arms are overgrown. I think he I think he made a big mistake by growing them this much. I think it ruined a flow of his physique. We still have to see it on stage. Maybe the judges will like it. Maybe it's going to look good when he's completely dehydrated, uh, when he's pumped up. I hope he's not going to pump up his arms. Not even tiniest bit. I wouldn't dare doing push-ups in the backstage trying to pump up I wouldn't risk blowing up those freaking triceps. I would just do some variation of flies for my chest, some raises for shoulders, maybe some pullover motion for lats. I would really try hard not to touch those arms because they are, they are too big. And if they get third of an inch bigger for that stage, it's going to hurt him. Michal Krizh also has enormous arms, but they flow well with his physique. These arms are kind of throwing me off. Whatever you guys think, if you disagree, tell me down below. And here is Vlad Suharuchko, and he looks also phenomenal in this most muscular pose. So I'm going back to when I said, could it be the gym lighting? Could it be the gym lighting that makes these guys look more impressive than they actually are? And yeah, of course, there is some of that, but everybody's trying to find the best lighting possible. I think Vlad won in this game i think he found really good lighting a really good angle and in this photo he looks also like top five mr not really come on i mean yeah i know he looks impressive but he doesn't look that impressive i don't think he's going to be top 10 of the mr olympia even though he's humongous and he's really gnarly he really he's really grainy but there are flaws and you can you can point them you can see them even in this super impressive shot when he's hitting the most muscular which is his pose because he has enormous shoulders arms chest and pretty impressive legs with a lot of veins but they could be rounder they could be fuller and bigger those legs but they are good they're not bad you can't really find too many major flaws in this photo in this in this pose you could say that his legs will be bigger again and maybe you could say that his uh, shoulders are looking suspicious and that his, uh, I don't know, bice triceps could be bigger. But that would be nitpicking, really. In this pose, he looks super freaking impressive. And this guy is one of those guys that are going to be right out of top 10, potentially. If everything clicks well for them, if they come in uh, perfectly peaked, this guy could be, like, top I don't know, 11, top 12, 13, he could, because look at his photos, he looks super impressive, maybe not this year, but I think this guy has a bright future ahead of him, I think he's going to be one of the top Olympians at some point, because he's also pretty young, and at this age, he looks insane, he looks really crazy. And for the end of this video, we have a physique, sort of a physique update of Dexter Jackson at 53, and I was wondering recently what is going on with Dexter Jackson. Somebody mentioned him in conversation for Mr. Olympia. Where would he place in this today's lineup? 
Well, if you ask me, I think his best version of all time could potentially win the Mr. Olympia. At least would be top two, if you ask me. Maybe Big Ramy would beat him because he's bigger, but anybody else, I don't think they could stand a chance against a really good uh, blade, Dexter Jackson. But anyways, his days are in the past. He's retired now, and this is the most recent physique update of his I mean, you can't really see too much of his physique, but you can see that his arms are looking really big, really full and round for somebody who is 50 freaking 3 years old. This is impressive. I mean, you can see some shoulders, you can see his chest, you can see that he has muscle, that he hasn't lose a ton of weight. He looks healthier, I think his face even looks younger than while he was competing. <laughs> I mean, maybe this guy is aging in reverse, like Benjamin Button. I mean, it, this is crazy how good he looks at 53. And even he is talking about his waistline in this photo. And it does look very, very small, very, very tight. So he is proud of his physique, of what he has done in this past few years since he retired but what i am most impressed with here are definitely his arms like his arms really held on to a lot of size anyways guys whatever you think about whichever part of this video what do you think can michael Crisio place ahead of nick walker can he be in top three at the mr olympia or top five or wherever you see that guy at the mr olympia stage you can tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.